Hey guys, welcome back to the Low Ranch Lunatic page, man. We're doing it big, getting bigger, gaining subscribers every minute. This video, right into it. How we wired our uh, uh, fish finders up with five different things going to one fuse blocks. Um, we need to be able to quickly turn some things off and assure that they're not getting some crosstalk and interference, especially with the testing I do. So let's dive right into this. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for subscribing. All right, let's, let's dive right into this. Instead of running inline fuses, I've decided to put a fuse block. Um, to make it very simple, and I know it doesn't seem simple at this point in time, but it's just how it ended up. The fuses on this side are for my Garmin. Um, my Garmin fish, uh, the live scope box, the two fish finders. Um, the ones on this side are for the Lawrence Aquatark. Now I know it sounds backwards because that's just where everything was mounted because Lawrence is over here, Garmin's over here, but I know it because I only have two uh, Lawrence. Um, the, the really awesome thing about this block system is, for example, when I'm using the Lawrence Active Target, if I want to, I can come in here and very easily pull these out and know that None of these three Garmin's have power because I don't want any interference when I'm training or showing people how to do it or doing any of the testing that I do. I want them to be pure, clean power. They are clean now. And if, for example, if a fuse does blow, all you do is look in here and you see the light lit up, that means there's a fuse blown. Um, really very nice system. And it allows me to isolate the power. That way when I'm using, for example, active target, um, I don't have to worry about, you know, interference from the other fish finders because everybody doesn't run Lawrence and everybody doesn't run Garmin. You're like Chevy and Ford, you have your fan base and that's okay and I don't mind training each of them, but I gotta tell you, I love this system. I like this system, but I'm not gonna lie to you, I love this system a lot too. So, um, using both of them lately, but now I have a very clean system. Now I understand the wires are kind of messy, but, I pulled everything apart just to show you how I mounted everything. But this box right here, which is on the front of my deck, is my front box right below the graphs. It's very easy to get to. And then when I'm done, very simply, I put this uh, cover on like so. Everything's nice and neat. And I need to change those labels. But that's how I've done the wiring on this one. And this is... Uh, 10 gauge marine grade wiring coming from the battery and if you remember how I did the battery box back there These come straight from the battery box. There's no other uh, units or anything else on them Alrighty, that's how I've done the wiring on this. Alright guys the way I've got my um, Units uh, I have the the Garmin put on a live scanner pole I tried mounting it on here with this and it just was a no-go so I mounted it to the trolling motor itself um that way I can, you know, I can I independently control the, I really wish it was here where I can independently control it, but I haven't mounted here because there was just so much um, going on on this pole, maybe a little bit too much for the pole. So I mounted it here. I can still use perspective mode here. I have a summit fishing equipment mount on the way and we'll change out that. But Garmin's, I mean, uh, Lawrence's mount uh, is amazing with the knobs and everything like that they are top notch i love the way they're done i like them better than uh garments which is just literally theirs is the same kind of ridges but they rely on um just the tightness of this bolt which this bolt backs out a lot so i had to end up putting super glue lawrence's is much better done really happy with that but guys thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and please stay tuned and uh, they're just getting better and better. Got some on the water footage coming soon. Really awesome. Guys, I hope you liked um, how I've wired it up, but not only how I put it onto the uh, the boat. Um, putting it onto the pole is not as much an option, so I mounted it to the trolling motor. Um, I would rather have it on the pole, but it's just very hard to do that. But hope you like that, guys. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. And we've got some settings videos coming soon. We're finna to really dive into this. This is gonna be an amazing, amazing journey. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and you know, ring the bell.